Well, new at noon, USS New York is on its way back to its namesake. The ship will arrive in the Big Apple in two days, just in time for Veterans Day. Those on board include several first responders who served during 9-11 and family members who lost their loved ones in the Twin Towers. Emily Harrison has a look inside the ship and what it means to the people who embarked. The motto of this ship is strength forged through sacrifice, and you can find reminders of this strength throughout the entire ship. USS New York is described as a floating museum dedicated to the lives lost on 9-11. On board is clothing worn by first responders from that day, the names of those lost etched onto the walls, and steel directly from ground zero is built into the ship. We have some pieces of steel displayed throughout the ship, but most of the seven and a half tons of steel is actually in the bow of our ships. USS New York can carry hundreds of people, and on Monday, several guests invited by the Navy came aboard. Almost all of them share a personal connection to 9-11. My father, uh, my mom's husband, uh, was Detective Joseph V. Vigiano. Uh, he lost his life on 7-11th while saving others in the Twin Towers. Those of us who, who, who lived that day, to be on here, it's just, I mean, I, I can't even put it in words. 25 New York Police Department, New York Fire Department, and Port Authority officers also boarded USS New York in Norfolk. These departments lost hundreds of people on 9-11 many of them volunteers who raced inside to save others. I had the privilege to walk around the ship and see a lot of the, the remembrance from that day. It's like no honor like any honor like before. USS New York should arrive in the state it's named after by Wednesday, giving families time to experience the ship as a crew member and remember the lives lost. Emily Harrison, 13 News Now. When USS New York gets to its destination, the crew will be met with a tradition called manning the rails, only given to vessels of great honor.